Welcome to the Kilgray online tutorial for project managers. In the first module of this 10-part series, we will look at the MemoQ dashboard. We will see what kind of information you can get about your projects on the dashboard, how to filter them, and what the differences between the dashboard for translators and the one for project managers are. This module will take between 10 and 15 minutes to go through. At the end, there will be three questions to test your understanding of the topics that were covered. The dashboard in MemoQ is the starting point for all your actions. The dashboard will look a little different if you have a translator or project manager license. A translator can see three different types of projects. Downloaded online projects, local projects created by the user with a template, and local projects created manually by the user. The area above the project list is used for setting up new projects, for example by dragging documents to the drag and drop area, or by connecting to a MemoQ server to download projects, or by importing a project package, either from MemoQ or another translation tool like SDL Trado Studio or Start Transit, or by creating projects through a template or manually with the new project wizard. As a project manager with a PM license, you might see the same type of list as the translator, if you are on the computer level. If you are logged into a server, you will see only the projects on the MemoQ server. Regular server projects show the cloud icon. Server projects created with a template show the template icon. The columns with the details on every project are customizable via a right click on one of the titles. The commands column looks empty, but when you move your mouse pointer over that column, it will show the icons for managing, that is opening a project on the server, checking out a local copy of the project, wrapping up a project, or moving a project to the recycle bin. The wrap up command sets the server project to the status finished and displays the wrap up icon in the status column. For projects that were created by templates, the wrap up could also be connected with automated functions like deleting working TMs, updating master TMs, exporting files, etc. While the projects are being worked on, you will see different icons to tell you about the status of the project. A question mark means that the work has not started yet. The wrap up icon shows that you used the wrap up command and this project is set to finished. When the project moves from the translation step to the review step, you will see the status icons change as well. And if there are any finished files that can be exported, the export column will show the export document icon. The progress of the different stages of a project, like translation or review, are indicated by the green bars. When you move the mouse pointer over the progress indicator, you will also see the percentages of confirmed segments per stage in the project. In our example, the translator has confirmed 71% of all segments in all documents. The Reviewer 1 has confirmed 53% and Reviewer 2 has confirmed 22 up to now. The Size column usually shows how many words are in the project, but you could also switch this to Segments or Characters. You can find the setting under Options, Miscellaneous. There are two different ways to display the project list. By default, each project is shown in one row. The Two Row view switches to a layout where the project information appears in two rows per project. This gives a more compact overview over the projects, for example for the metadata in the fields Project, Domain, Client and Subject. If you need additional information about the project without opening it, 
you can switch on the Details view. It shows all information from the project list, plus how many documents are assigned to what role, and the size of the project in segments, words, and characters. And in the Users tab, you can check who is a participant of your project and what progress they have made so far. Another type of information about a project are the alerts. If a project has alerts, you will see the alert symbol in the first column. Switch on the alerts view to see what kind of messages the project has for you. Alerts could appear because of a missed deadline, slow progress, but also because there are documents that can be exported because they are finished. The more projects you have, the more it will be necessary to sort or filter the list of projects. You can use the Sort drop-down list on the right, and you can use the predefined filters in the My Projects drop-down list. Or use the Search field for a customized filter. You can filter by part of the project name, type it into the search field and press Enter. For a list of the predefined criteria, press the spacebar and select one of the filter criteria from the pop-down list. If you know the name of the criterion you're looking for, you can also start typing it and then select it from the pop-down list. To combine search filters, use AND or OR between the criteria. Here we are searching for all projects that have the name Client and the number 345 in the project name. Press Enter to run the search. Click on the red X to delete the search and return to the full list of projects. When you click on the pen icon, you can call up a dialog to create customized, reusable filters. Select the field where you want to search and set the relationship. Here, the field status should be equal to a certain value from the list. Select what you are searching for. Here, any project that has not been started yet. The filter is created and stays in the list of filters. Call up the list again with the pen icon. You can also combine filters. MemoQ will treat them as filters combined with a logical AND function. You can overtype the AND with OR to create a filter where either criterion needs to be met instead of all criteria. When a project is finished and needs no longer to be visible in the list, you can move it to the recycle bin. At any time, you can view the list of projects in the recycle bin and either delete them completely or maybe reactivate them. Moving a project to the recycle bin does not delete any of the resources, like translation memories, that are attached to the project. In summary, the dashboard is the main information area on all your projects. Here, you create, manage and delete your projects. The icons and colors show you what kind of project it is, how far it has progressed and what the status of the project is. This concludes the module on the MemoQ dashboard. This was the first module of this 10-part series. On the next slide we will ask you some questions that will help you to test your knowledge of the MemoQ dashboard. Here comes the quiz. First question. Is the dashboard customizable? No, the dashboard has a fixed view. Yes, but it can only adjust the number of projects that are shown per page. Yes, I can select what columns are shown and have a choice between a one-row and two-row view of the project information. The correct answer is yes, I can select what columns are shown and have a choice between a one-row and a two-row view of the project information. Second question. How can you hide a project from the list? Right-click the project and select Wrap-up. Move the project to the Recycle bin.
open the project and use the Hide button on the right. The correct answer is move the project to the recycle bin. Third question. When do you see an alert? For example, when a deadline has been missed, the progress is slow, or a file is ready for export. When a user has sent me an email about an issue with a document. When a user has tried to deliver a document but received an error message. The correct answer is when a deadline has been missed, the progress is slow, or a file is ready for export. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This was the first module in this 10 part series. This tutorial was created with MemoQ 2015. This tutorial was created by Loctimize for Kilgrave Translation Technologies.